start here, of course, because he can just punch me in the face too quick. Okay? But just to get us moving right now, I'm going to start here, change levels, yeah, back leg drives. I'm trying to keep a hold of his legs all the way to the ground. My foot's out for base. Okay? When everything stops, yeah, normally here I would just pin the knee, try to pass. But let's say maybe he was uh, moving around, going too wild, and I'm just trying to control him here. Okay? Yeah, and he's smart enough to uh, cross his feet. This is where I'm probably most likely going to need the double under guard pass, okay? If his feet were uncrossed, I could potentially go back and start to pin the knee. But with his feet crossed, it makes it a little bit harder to do that, okay? So I'll posture, okay? I'll strike, boom, in hopes that he doesn't cross his feet now, okay? That, bringing a leg up on my shoulder, and I drive everything up towards his face. Nice wide base. Cut the shoulder, cut the angle, and up here. Okay. Let's show you the so I've noticed we're both kind of in a fighting stance. He's got his left leg forward, my left leg forward. Just so we mesh better here, and we're not stepping forward on the same side. Yeah? Okay. Get a little closer to us. Just for drill purposes, I'm one arm length away. Change levels by bending at the knees. Front foot steps in the middle. Okay, just below the knee. Drive. Make sure this leg is bent. I gotta keep my hips down. If my hips are up and this leg is straight, it affects my ability to drive through him. So keep this down so I can drive off the back leg. Down. My shoulder lands on him. When everything stops, I'm going in that past the guard moment. <laughs> I'm controlling here. I want to get tall in posture. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll come back and we'll talk about how to control them a little, in a little bit. Um, maybe blocking punches some. It's okay. For now, we're here. I'm up tall. My hands do not want to go above the solar plex. Okay. Don't reach up here in the chest. That's just arm bar territory. Okay. Stay low by the hips, arms locked out. Uh, we'll have knees on right so you can grab the gear, try to pull them down, you can try to break my posture. Okay? Make sure you're solid here. I feel a strike for distraction. Boom! Um, both arms go at the same time. At first, I'm just gluing his legs to my chest. Okay? If he's trying to squirm around or whatever, I keep my head down for any punches, and now I bring one of his knees up on my shoulder. Here. So I can drive forward with my whole body. Whereas if I just keep this on my arm, then my arm has to do too much of the heavy lifting. Keep that up on your shoulder, drive it up. And whichever leg is on my shoulder, I'm gonna use that hand to reach across and grab his shoulder. And okay, so he can't follow me, if I turn the corner. Now look how I keep my pressure over his neck area. As I drop my hip, I look up. His leg passes. So, so it's a, uh, very important that you get here, I'm not leaning my head this way. I might fall over. Okay? Every I stack him, I stack his knee up by his mouth, and I keep the pressure up in that vicinity. So, okay. Melt off to the side, and we're here. Okay? His hands blocking the hip. This arm, basically my arm hits over his neck, kind of holding his head down. I landed here. Those hands here. Right. I'll put my arms up. Snap. Cross. Look how this arm stays here. Just for now. Okay. I'll hold him down there in that spot for a few seconds and then possibly advance to another position. Okay. So we'll just start with that. Basic application of the double leg. Okay, get to the ground. Let's say we got stuck in that close guard. Posture, strike. And that's just in hopes that it distracts them. They flinch a little bit, uncross their feet. It's just the simplest method. Okay, we have other methods. That's the simplest. Got the legs, stack them up, cut the corner, side. Cool? No questions? All right, take your time. No rush going through this right now, all right?
good. 